All right, week 16 in the NFL kicks off Christmas Day. Minnesota at New Orleans. New Orleans, six and a half point home favorites. The Vikings, they are 0 and 5 against the spread their last five games. They're 5 and 2 against the spread. The favorite is 5 and 2 against spread in the last seven meetings. The Vikings are 5 and 2 against spread in their last seven meetings in New Orleans. Mini on the flip side, though, is 2 and 5 against spread overall in their last five meetings. The Saints Thomas, he's out for the year. Kendricks is out for the Vikings on the other side of the ball. Saints can clinch the NFC South. Drew Brees, he's 46 and 28 against spread after a loss with the Saints and 14 to 7 against spread as an underdog with New Orleans. Mike Zimmer is 66 and 44 against spread as a coach of the Vikings. The under could be a play here as the Saints rank 31st in offensive pace, something around 29 seconds per play. They run and what is the pace for the Vikings? They are 24th and they're, they're around 28 seconds per play. They take the run. That means a lot of game clock's going to get chewed up with no play actually happening in the game, which means that total at 52 or wherever it sits, I think it's a couple points high. I don't think this game gets m much higher than what the score was last year, that 24, 20, 26, 20, something like that. Somewhere around there, in my opinion, anyways. The Vikings ranked fourth in run versus pass ratio, 47% run to 53% pass. Uh, Jefferson is averaging 84.4 receiving yards per game. That's the third most by any rookie wideout since at least 1970. Uh, minimum four games played for rookies in that one. Uh, Mini hasn't allowed a 100-yard receiver in since week seven. They're the only team in the NFL to have such a stat. Elvin Kamara, he's had less than 100 scrimmage yards in seven straight games. That's the longest such streak in his entire career. I just... I think New Orleans wins this game. Uh, they clinch the NFC South with the victory, but Mini definitely stays in this. I think they can do enough to stay within that six and a half points, especially if this number, number sorry, moves anywhere closer to game time. That's the it, that's Christmas Day's picks. I'll get tomorrow's Saturday's picks, Boxing Day's picks out for you before them two games, and then I'll flip around and do Sundays. Peace.